Good morning. I'm trying to find a way to prop you guys up. It's probably not the best angle, but this is what we're working with. So I'm just laying out my hair. Um, I got an appointment tomorrow. I know this looks crazy, but um, you got you got to do what you got to do sometimes. So I'm gonna lay down my hair really quick, beat my face a little bit, and then I'm going to also share with you the stuff I got from Fenty. Uh, hold on, give me one sec. I hate when my hair gets tangled in this little knot, but. Okay, let's wash this gel off my hands. Okay, before I start doing makeup and stuff, I, I guess this angle is okay. I mean, it's not the best, but it's not the absolute worst. So, I always have a fear that I got like boogers in my nose. I don't know why. Just like lately, it's like, and nothing's there, but I always feel hot. Let me throw this Okay, so this is what I got from Fenty. So, let's start with this. I love this, um, what is this called? The Fenty Butter Drop Hydrating Body Milk. You can see, like, I scraped this to the bone. In the morning, I waited for the sale to re-up on it. In the mornings, like, is there a hair on here? I thought I saw a hair. Okay, in the mornings when I leave for work, like, I always get, like, ashy right here. So, I always, like, just use a little bit, scrape it in between here. I have to do makeup right now, so I'm not doing that right now. I'm just showing you, I really like this because... It is a very lightweight lotion. And at night when I break into my body sweats and things like that, my menopause issues, my menopausal issues, I don't always like thick lotion at night. During the day, like I need to have it on because I don't wanna go out and be ashy. But at night, this is really, this is a very nice, if you like a lightweight lotion, if you don't have dry skin, this is perfect. The only gripe that I have is that it doesn't come like with a refill thing, because this bottle is glass. It's very, it's very nice. It's it's a nice bottle. So for the Sephora sale, I was good this year. I only bought two things. I read up on this because, like I said, I love this lotion. Re Fenty make something. Oh, the hair is stuck in my freaking nail. Hold on, because I need a fill. Look at my nails. Not a fill, but I need to go get my dip done. Trick to that: if you don't like dip because your hair gets caught in here. These we these are three week old nails, right? What I do is I get dip and then I get one coat of gel over it, but it's three weeks, so it's time. But that prevents you from getting that hair under there. A lot of people don't like dip because the hair gets caught under there. Hold on, let me throw this away. Okay, the only other thing, and I did save, I literally did save this for you guys um, because I wanted to share. Got an unboxing, but I have not opened it. I really wanted to share it with you guys. This is the new Fenty Butter Drop Toasted Marshmallows. So let's see if this really smells like toasted marshmallow. I'm gonna show you how many, bo I'm a body butter connoisseur. So I'm gonna give you guys the real. It's very, very, very faint smell. Let me put this on. I'll put this on. So I don't know if I get marshmallow from this. It's toasted something. It's giving, you know what it smells like? Okay. So maybe I'm lying. Marshmallow Fireside. The candle. from Now that I've put it on, it's, give, it's not very strong. So if you're expecting an overpowering, like the vanilla cinnamon one, hold on, I'll show you. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna share something with you guys, okay? I'm about to get a little personal. I'm gonna show you how many body butters your girl has. Not my favorite, but I mean, I'm happy that I tried it out with the sale. Not my, absolutely not my favorite body butter from Brianna. I think the vanilla cinnamon one is my favorite. Hold on. Gee, where did you go? Ma'am? Right here. All right. Okay. I don't play when it comes to body butters, okay? So 
I know what I'm talking about. This one's from last year from Trader Joe's. It's their candy cane one. It does have a lot of sparkle in it. Does have a strong candy cane smell. So if you see that, and I'll show you how much I use. If you see this again next year or this year, I would definitely get it. Actually used it. This I haven't opened, but I get almost every single year. I just haven't gotten around to using it this year. That's the coconut one from Trader Joe's. This is a staple. Get it every year. Just haven't gotten around because I have so many other lotions. This pumpkin one, Trader Joe's. Definitely use that this year. This was a waste, but I, I had I ended up getting it. I think I forgot there how much these are. $3.99, $4.99. Um, it's supposed to be, but it's, I don't, I guess it's not really, it's, it says it has a pink dragon fruit and jasmine scent. I didn't smell any of that, but it has collagen in it. So I guess that's the benefits, but I did buy that. This is the original Fenty Body Butter. Is this my refill one? Uh, I think it's my refill one. Hold on. Let's see. Oh gosh. Be in this carpal tunnel hand. Okay. So I did dip in this. This is the refill. Once again, Fenty, if you ever see me, refill this one. Make a refill for that one. Drop that baby in here. Uh, and then this one is the limited edition vanilla cinnamon. This really does smell like cinnamon. And I this, I think, is my fa favorite one. What is this called? Shimmering Whip Body Oil. I don't know, but I know it's limited edition. That's actually my favorite one. So I don't know that I mentioned that. I'm getting ready to go to my mental health appointment this morning. So I'm just about to do a really quick, where's my light beat? And we're gonna go see Doc. I have a lot to talk to her about. I haven't talked to her in about mm, two months, three months. So we have a lot of catching up to do. I'm looking forward to speaking with her this morning. Where's my other one? Okay, yeah, this one. And yeah, I just thought I would check in, share this stuff with you guys. I might check in again later and pretty much go from there. I don't think I have any errands to run today. My hair appointment is tomorrow. So that's why we're doing the little, um, what is it called? The little slay down because I don't like putting heat in my hair after I get my silk press, I try to avoid it. Like I might maybe touch it up with a curling iron once or twice, but that's it. I try to avoid heat at all costs. If not, then I'm flexi riding, but you can see there's like barely any curls to this, but I'm probably gonna wear a hat. I don't know, depending on how this lay down comes out, I'll probably wear a hat. If not, I, I really just don't care. I'm just gonna see my therapist. I might stop the Target before seeing her if I get there too early because Target's on the way. So I might just peruse peruge through Target and I don't know, I don't need anything. But um, yeah, I just wanted to check in so far for the week and see, hope you, like, you guys are doing well. I know some people aren't doing well, I'm not even gonna talk about it. Like the only person I talk to about that are a few people about this. So I'll just say the election, I talk to God. I'm not worried about anything because I, I, I worship and I praise and I idolize a strong God and I'm not worried about no freaking election results. I'm, I'm not. So um, if you are, I pray for your strength, but your girl, I'm not worried about nothing. I wasn't worried either way. Like I wasn't worried either way because I'm more worried about my soul. So it is what it is, but I'm not gonna bore you with this makeup. I'm just gonna, and that's how I do makeup. I don't like a lot of makeup. I just like to cover a few spots. You see how I didn't even look in the mirror. I'll look afterwards, make sure I got all the spots. But um, this, a little, some, little bit of eyeliner, a little bit of mascara, a little bit of contour and your girl's out. But yeah, I just wanted to check in with you and wanted to actually share something with you, share something that I do like. And I actually did save this for you guys. I did. I was like, I'm not doing the whole opening the Sephora box. And I wasn't doing all that. I was like, all right, I opened it. I had this for two days. And I was like, you know what? The next time I get on camera, I'm going to, we're going to do this. We're going to do this together. So it does kind of smell like marshmallow fireside, but now it has a little bit of an old lady older i don't know i don't say old lady it has a i don't know it's not my favorite my favorite is this one but um i got it on sale it is what it is i'll check with you guys later bye so we are off we're off to mental health today i think i mentioned that why is this car 
in front of me stopped in the middle of the road. Let me just go around it because like you're literally in the middle of the road. All right, that was weird. Let me try to fix you guys. So I don't think I like that toasted marshmallow um, lotion. You go first because your car is super beat up. Like you've been in multiple accidents and I don't want to be like your 15th. So you carry along. Um, do you think that though? You ever see that meme when the, the, the one meme where they're like, whenever I drive next to a car, that's like smashed in or whatever. I, I think um, no wonder why your car is smashed in like that. Cause the way you drive, cause I'm just type of person. I know that if I get an accident, like I got to get, I'm, I don't get an accident all the time, but like if I have a car repair, like I need to do it right away. Like I don't play your vehicle. Like I, I'm in a place where I don't have subways and trains or whatever. Like I need my car. Like I need, I need my car. I pay for insurance. So I need my rental. I need to get my car fixed, but okay. We're, we're, we're sidetracking. I don't think I like the, the toasted marshmallow. Um, I don't recommend it. It just has, the smell's just a little too weird for me. I tried to wipe it off and put um, some other perfume on to, to like mask it. And I'm happy I didn't put a lot, but it's not a scent for me. So go try for yourself. That's just what I came up with. It's, it's just, it's just not, it's just not a lotion for me. All right, yeah, so we're heading, we're heading to go see my doctor. Who is this calling me? We will not be answering that because I don't know anybody with a 940 number and they just hung up so probably with spam. But um, you know what I wanted to talk about kind of? On um, both, and I don't want to get into politics, ugh, but it's like that's all that's in like my feed. Like yesterday I, I was on like social media but I put like my posts and I really didn't do too much scrolling because like I was talking about people are like crashing out like on both sides on both sides like people are saying inappropriate things like I'm like you you guys know that you still have jobs some of you you know you still have careers like you might want to choose your words wisely and that's on why didn't this car go they had like a green light that's on both ends like I'm sitting here the few things that I did see like people are legit like crashing out over this election and I think the reason why I'm okay is because I mentally said whichever way the election goes I'm gonna prepare to live my life however I'm going to live my life I mean that's it it, it is what it is you know it's if there's nothing I can do to change the election either way. I went in with that mindset. I went, I went in with that mindset. I'm like, whatever the outcome of this election is, how is it going to change my life directly? And some people might say that that's selfish because, oh, why are you only thinking about your life? Well, I pay my bills, right? Um, if I was to get put out or me and my husband were get to put out somewhere, um, no one's gonna help me but our parents you know my, my my parents his and my in-laws I have to think about my life I I don't know everybody else's life in the United States I I don't so I I made a vote based on who I thought you know would be the better candidate and I was prepared that if my candidate won they won and if they lost they lost like you you knew only one person could win and the way people are crashing out and like being so extreme and like I said these are both parties like I said, I'm not a political party I'm I, I'm not a political party so I'm gonna put, put that out there right now I, I vote but I vote when I vote and vote for who I want to and I don't disclose that with anybody because it's nobody's business who I vote for and that's just that's just how I feel because I'm not gonna spend my energy getting into arguments with people over politics i'm not going to argue with people over religion and i'm not going to argue with people over politics because i believe in god and if a person doesn't that is their right because we have free will and i don't ar argue over politics and religion it's just not not something i'm going to do i just really hope that the people that are very emotional about what happened think cautiously about what they say and what they post because you don't know 
who's going to see that, who's going to screenshot that, who's going to even like, you know, it's, it's just, it's just, I don't know. It's wild to me. It's, it's wild to me that people, and it's not that I'm not empathizing. It's okay to have feelings, but it's just wild to me that people didn't think that there could be, there was going to be an outcome regardless. So that's what I had to say about that. I don't, I don't even know if I put that all out there, but at the end of the day, I got to worry about me, my family, and, 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 and my life and how this election now is going to affect what now, now that we've had, we, there is a decision has been made. What, what do I need to do to prepare or not prepare for anything? Like what, what, what's the next step? It's definitely not going to be complaining. It's not going to be, um, being over dramatic and over emotional on social media. That's, that's not my plan. So, um, yeah, the crashing and burning is getting really, really weird on social media. Um, I don't even think I'm going to talk to um, my therapist about anything that has to do with the election. And she brings it up, like, cause we're pretty cool. She brings it up, which I don't even know she will. I mean, we can talk then, but I'm not even here to see her about that. I got other, <laughs> I got other things I need to vent to her um, about and, and get off my chest. So that's that. But um, it's 10, 13. I don't know if I'm going to make it inside a Target. So that might not be a thing because my appointment's at 11 and I don't want, I don't like to be rushed when I go to the store. So yeah, that's where we're at this morning. But I think I'm just going to listen to some music for the rest of the ride and talk to you guys later. All right. Bye. They won, they won. And if they lost, they lost. Like you, you knew only one person could win. And the way people are crashing out and like being so extreme. And like I said, these are both parties. Like I said, I'm not a political party. I'm, I, I'm not a political party, so I'm going to put, put that out there right now. I, I vote, but I vote when I vote and vote for who I want to. And I don't disclose that with anybody because it's nobody's business who I vote for. And that's just that's just how I feel. Because I'm not going to spend my energy getting into arguments with people over politics. I'm not going to argue with people over religion. And I'm not going to argue with people over politics because I believe in God. And if a person doesn't, that is their right because we have free will. And I don't ar argue over politics and religion. It's just not, not something I'm going to do. I just really hope that the people that are very emotional about what happened think cautiously about what they say and what they post because you don't know who's going to see that, who's going to screenshot that, who's going to even like, you know, it, it's, it's just, it's just, I don't know. It's wild to me. It's, it's wild to me that people and it's not that I'm not empathizing it's okay to have feelings but it's just wild to me that people didn't think that there could be there was going to be an outcome regardless so that's what I had to say about that I don't I don't even know if I put that all out there but at the end of the day I got to worry about me my family and, and 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 my life and how this election now is going to affect what now now that we've had we, there is a decision has been made what what do I need to do to prepare or not prepare for anything? Like what, what, what's the next step? It's definitely not going to be complaining. It's not going to be, um, being over dramatic and over emotional on social media. That's, that's not my plan. So, um, yeah, the crashing and burning is getting really, really weird on social media. Um, I don't even think I'm going to talk to, um, my therapist about, anything that has to do with the election she brings it up like cause we're pretty cool she brings it up which I don't even know she will I mean we can talk then but I'm not even here to see her about that I got other <laughs> I got other things I need to vent to her um about and and get off my chest so that's that but um it's 10 13 I don't know if I'm gonna make it inside a target so that might not be a thing because my appointment's at 11 and I don't want I don't like to be rushed when I go to the store so yeah that's where we're at this morning but I think I'm just gonna listen to some music for the rest of the ride and talk to you guys later all right bye so I did have time to run into Target before going to see my therapist and I wanted to try this outfit on and I it actually was I hate saying it inspired that word gets so overused but it was inspired by Naturally Sunny I watched her channel and she tried it on 
Um, she's a little bit more curvy than I am. So when I, it definitely looks differently on me than it does on her, but I was really feeling it. She tried on the black. I originally went to try on the black, but I was like, let me try on the blue first. I have a lot of denim, like blue denim outfits. So I really wasn't too keen on the blue, but I was like, let me try it anyways. I tried this in a size eight. It fit kind of big. So I went and got a size six to see how it would fit. And I actually like the size six better. I'm trying to button this thing here on the side. It had came loose. I wanted to make sure it wasn't broken and it was on sale. Originally it was $44, but by the time I rung it up, it came to, I think $30. So I ended up getting the black. Um, yeah. Here were some more cute things I just wanted to share with you guys during my trip. And I only got the black jumpsuit and I got a sugar-free watermelon um, Red Bull. That was it. These pajamas are so... I have so many Christmas pajamas. I am not buying any more Christmas pajamas this year. But I wanted to share with you the cute Grinch stuff that they had there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe if you wish. And I will see you guys next video. Bye!